Hello everyone, I am so glad that you are here for this lazy day clean with me where I'm going to be just doing the minimum for this day to get my house together and make it feel like it's pretty clean even though I'm not going to be doing a ton of deep cleaning, just a ton of laundry. I had recently bought my kids some new clothes, I'm going to be putting those away as well and just getting this house back in order in general without doing too much overboard, just getting the basics. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and push the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. I'm going to start in my bedroom and my bathroom. As you can see, nothing too crazy, but everything's just kind of all over the place as it generally is. And this is springtime, so we've been outside a lot, and I've been just kind of putting things down and not always putting things away and not always just coming through here and there and putting things away as I would normally if we were inside all day. So things are getting just a little bit neglected and kind of all over the place. And so I'm hoping to kind of rein it in and get this place back together and not really focusing on the deep cleaning just because I'm not really into that this spring. I will do some deep cleaning here and there, but I am not going to be doing all the deep cleaning like I might normally would just because my babies are finally old enough that we're almost always outside if the weather is good and, you know, the deep cleaning can wait. I would much rather spend that time with the kids and focusing on a little bit of gardening and just enjoying the good weather rather than trying to deep clean everything all inside of a month. I know that a lot of people do their spring cleaning around this time, but that is just not me in this exact season. Literally, I'm just not going to do all of my spring cleaning in in the spring. So I'll be doing that eventually and kind of scattered throughout probably the summer and spring, but not just today. I would love to know what you guys do as far as your spring cleaning. If you try and get it all done in the spring or if you do actually scatter it throughout the year, I think that each year and each season of my life as far as my kids getting older and everything kind of looks a little bit different for me. So I wonder what you guys do if you try and do your spring cleaning actually in the spring or just scattered. I really go back and forth as far as doing a load of laundry each day or doing all of my laundry all on one day of the week. This day was a couple of loads of laundry because I hadn't done any in a couple of days. I feel like that's somewhere in between doing a load a day and doing it all on one day of the week. But my daughter had actually gotten sick the night before and so I was cleaning up throw up on different pillows and stuff that she had used and I didn't actually know until the next morning. I felt so bad knowing that she had gotten sick and just kind of moved around rather than getting me up. She said she didn't want to wake me up and that was so sweet, but you know, I would have willingly gotten up and helped her out, but she just ended up moving beds. She kicked her brother out to the couch and slept on his bed. <laughs> so I was cleaning up her bedding from all of that. So there's lots of pillows and stuff like that to get washed. Yes, I know. I was going to pull this load of clothes out and what in the dust is that on my dryer door? But like some loads of laundry, it just was not dry whenever the timer went off and so it went back in there and I was going to do other things. I decided to tidy up the laundry room while I was in here. This is probably a little bit above and beyond what I was planning on doing, but since I was already there, I decided to go ahead and get that done. I'm coming home to you. Feeling 
The Bible has a lot to say about being idle, and so while I am calling this a lazy cleaning video, I'm obviously not just sitting on the couch and doing no cleaning like a lazy video could potentially be just a video of me sitting on the couch doing nothing and propping my feet up. But I did actually want to get some things done and not let my house get too bad because I know if you go around and do a little bit here and there and just kind of keep things tidy, it does help that your future self keep the whole house clean. I totally understand that and I don't want to be idle. I don't want to actually be lazy even though I am trying to focus my efforts and my time on just being outside and enjoying the spring as it is and not necessarily focusing only on my house but my house does need some attention and so I am trying to get that done today and help out my future self so that I don't feel too overwhelmed in just a few short days like I know it would be if I just totally left these things be. You know, I had told myself a while back that I wasn't going to intentionally film my kids very much, and it has worked out for the most part for the older two, but this baby loves the vacuum. Every time I turn it on, it doesn't matter for how long, he just hears it turn on and he comes running at his, his little happy place. When he was a tiny baby, he would crawl over to the spot that I had just vacuumed and spread out as if it was his absolute favorite place in the world to be and maybe it was but now he just loves the sound of the vacuum he likes to be right there in the way while i'm vacuuming and it's really sweet but also it's really hard as far as filming to totally keep him out of it i just want to be a little more cautious about putting my kids on the internet because i know it can be a very dangerous place for kids to be If you're a parent, then you know that kids go through diapers so, so quick. I feel like every other day I'm filling up this drawer with a new pack of diapers and constantly buying them. I'm not sure how many diapers he goes through in a day, but I feel like I'm always refilling this drawer and it holds like something like 75 diapers. That is crazy to me. After I got all that done, those clothes were finally done drying so I could fold and put them away and do some more folding and putting away of other laundry that I also had just piled on my bed. My bed is my folding table, like probably many of you, that is just the biggest, flattest space that is easiest to do them on. And as far as like folding and organizing my clothes as I put them away, Man, sometimes I will pull this out and refold it and then put it all away, but I am just not that person that is able to keep them all folded and organized. And I know a lot of people talk about um, doing the file folding to where you can see all of them and they're all folded and you can see each one individually at the top. And that is just not me either. I'm not going to take twice as long to fold my clothes just so I can tell what I have in there because I generally know just by the feel and look of the shirt just by kind of thumbing through. So my drawers tend to look a little messy but as long as it all fits in the drawer that's okay with me. I will get rid of things if they no longer fit in the drawer. I will go through and see what I don't need to have in there anymore but other than that, my folding method and all that is working for me right now. And I guess that's part of why I call this a lazy video is just because I'm not going to take the time to redo anything right now. I'm just going to be using things as they are and cleaning around things as they are and not worrying about too deep of stuff today.
I hope that if you are in a stage of life where you have a lot of things going on and you are cleaning around things or just working with drawers like this as they are, that you feel very validated that you are not alone in that or anything because that is very much where I am at and I'm not too worried about it because as long as my home at least somewhat stays functional and clean, then I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm constantly purging things, but I feel like even if you have a very minimal home, you're still going to have to pick things up and deal with things and put things away. And I, I'm i working towards being a little bit more minimalistic, but I don't think I'll ever be completely a minimalist. And that's okay with me. But uh, I just like to declutter and organize here and there. But I definitely am not the type of person that's going to be doing that every single time I clean my house. It's just not possible for me. I have to be in the right mood. Um, today with these clothes, I definitely was happy about organizing them and decluttering and getting that old size out of there and even donating just a few items that they hadn't really used much and stuff like that because I love getting my kids new clothes and they are so excited about the next size that comes in and everything. And it's just something that's exciting for all of us. So I was definitely happy about doing all that for them. And they all three hit the next size of clothes at the same time. So I was doing all three of their clothes. This is the two older kids and I'm going to do the baby's clothes in just a little bit. And it was very exciting for me. I love seeing all the hand-me-downs for the baby and all the new clothes for the older kids. It's just something that I really take joy in, just clearing out all the old stuff and putting all the new stuff away. And does anyone else's closet fall down on them when they try and get to the top? See, this closet isn't very functional. I'm working towards putting all the games in a different spot. But for right now, I had tossed a few of their new games up on top of their winter hats and stuff, and they were all falling down on me. And that's something I do need to work with eventually and it's sort of just a work in process right now the different spot that I'm going to be putting the games but for now I was just getting all the hats and gloves and stuff like that out of there and it felt really good to have all those cleaned out knowing that cold weather is almost no more at least for their hats and gloves they don't really need those and that is just the best feeling when you know that warm weather is on the horizon and you are almost there for good for a while. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone asleep These are all the clothes that I decided to put away in a shed or donate. I do keep my kids' clothes for hand-me-downs, even though we don't have another girl. Who knows, one day we might, and so I just keep them all or donate the ones that they didn't really like or didn't really use because I figure they have plenty if we did have another girl or plenty of boy hand-me-downs for the baby, etc. So I just donate anything that they didn't like or whatever. So now moving on to the kitchen, I'm just going to be clearing the counters and wiping down. And my bar is just one area that if I don't clear it at least every couple days, it builds up so bad where it's like an all afternoon thing. And so I've been trying to stay on top of keeping that cleared off. It gets cluttered so, 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 so quickly. And so if I don't do it at probably about every day or two, it just, it looks way worse than this. And of course the big things get put there because it is a big open space when it's cleared off. So it, it looks really bad really quickly, but it also cleans up pretty quickly. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Lonely wind is passing by Try 
tries to carry all the whispers that it finds. The walls are listening when we talk, making echoes as we walk. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Hold my hand. If I don't put donation boxes straight out into my car like I'm doing here, then they usually just get kicked around the house until somebody pulls something back out that was supposed to get donated. So it's better for me if I just go ahead and put that in the car. That way it's out of sight, out of mind for all of us. And we almost never miss anything that we donate. I donate regularly. Usually I go to Goodwill just because it's the easiest, but I would like to get out of going to Goodwill and start donating to some of the smaller, more community-oriented thrift stores around me. I've just got to be a little more determined to find them and make sure that I get there instead of just going with the convenience of Goodwill. And as far as like cleaning around things, this is exactly what I was talking about. I'm not going to be doing any moving or deep cleaning or decluttering here. I'm just going to be wiping around things and that is perfectly fine for this day. It wasn't too bad as far as needing deep cleaning and it just makes it feel so much cleaner rather than doing nothing, of course. Close your eyes and let us fade away Build the secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream And just like my kids' closet, uh, this front area, it just needed all like the coats and all the too small stuff, the shoes that were too small. This is a basket full of stuff that came in for my car as well that I needed to just kind of organize and get out of there. I will leave a basket full of stuff for my car for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and never miss the stuff. Maybe that just means I should donate the whole thing. But if I organize it and put it away, at least I know that all that stuff, if we do need it, is back where it goes. If we don't need something in there, obviously I will donate it. But that's usually where all my missing sippy cups go. I end up just having one or two left and I know I have like 20 dozen sippy cups and they're usually all in that basket that I brought in from the car when I last cleaned it out. So like I said, I'm just getting all that stuff up and then pulling the coats, the kids coats specifically, any extra shoes that we're not wearing right now and stuff like that. Just getting it away from the door because the door is the first place that everybody sees, including me when we come in the house. And if that's cluttered, it makes the whole house feel more cluttered. So if I did nothing during a day, I would probably tidy this area up or have my daughter just tidy the shoes or something. It makes the whole living room, the whole house feel so much cleaner when this space is tidy. You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. I don't normally have so much trash all around my house, but the baby got into a pack of wipes, and before I knew it, it was just like this wipe shredder going through the house. There was about half a dozen wipes and about a million little pieces of them all over the place. And I'm not actually going to be cleaning my kids' room. I'm just going to be putting their stuff in there. They have gotten to the point where they do a really good job about once a week of cleaning their room. Their kids, they're going to pull stuff out. They're going to have fun in there. But after about a week, it kind of drives me nutty enough that I have them go back in there. And this is the point of cleaning where everything is starting to come together. Look at those little shoes. And just feel a lot more clean. There are, everything is like started, all the machines are started and the floors are clear finally and the counters are fully clear and just cleaned off and everything and I can finally get to where I can sweep and just be done. Should have told you straight away, you don't have to be afraid anymore, I know you thought about organizing my kids shoes in here I got some new ones for them and then I found this yogurt trash stuck to a pull-up 
And I decided, you know what, those can wait. The new ones go in the bag. They're a little bit too big. And the rest of them can just wait until we get in there and clean up their room. I did put this heavy sleeping bag on top of this rocking chair cushion just to flatten it out. It worked like a charm. The next day it was perfectly flat again and fit back there. Just straightening everything up and then I'm going to sweep. And you know what? I don't even think I'm going to mop today. It just, it doesn't feel like a mop day. There's enough sticky stuff on the floor that I spot mop all the time or fully mop all the time. And if there's ever a time where there's not too much sticky stuff, you know what? I'm going to skip that mopping because I know that the next day it's probably going to need it. And I don't know about you guys, but every single time I mop, I can just about bet you that there's going to be some sort of huge sticky spill. And so if I avoid mopping, I almost guarantee you there's not going to be any spills. The whole house took me just a couple of hours to do, max two hours, and that was probably more like one. I mean, it felt like way longer, of course. Cleaning always does, but it really just wasn't that long, and it felt so good to have everything done in the long run, and then it doesn't just pile up for the next day. Of course, the deep cleaning is always there to do if I want to do it, but the little things, the kind of maintenance stuff, it's there right in front of me. I can do it, get it done. I know it's going to need redone the next day, but you know what? It's done for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions for you, and I will see you in the next one. Okay.